So I don't need to belabor the point too much here. It's pretty slim pickings when it comes to finding power tools that are made in the USA. Now there are certainly some good specialty tools out there for certain professionals that are made here, but when it comes to your everyday essentials like your drills, your circular saws, your sanders, your grinders, things like that, yeah, it's pretty much a wasteland of stuff made overseas. Now there are certainly some good brands that are made here, and I'm definitely going to cover those later in the video, but I want to go back to the wasteland thing and really examine why that is. I think it's happened for a couple of reasons in particular. One is the availability of certain components that go into a lot of these power tools, specifically more electrical components, which is pretty well documented. It's really tough or impossible to find reliable US suppliers for some of those types of components. So folks have to go overseas to get a lot of those parts. And obviously it's a lot cheaper over there and labor is going to cost less. And number two, obviously labor and parts are going to be more expensive here than they are overseas. Like I mentioned, everybody knows that, but the reason that I think you see less boutique tool manufacturers, at least assembling their stuff in the US is because a lot of the big brands that fill up those shelves at Home Depot and Lowe's are really owned by the same small group of parent companies. And when that small group of parent companies, I'm gonna go into a little bit more about who those are here in a minute, but when they control the market share of power tools in these big box retailers like Home Depot and Lowe's, they can pretty much do whatever they want. They're certainly competing against each other, but they all have pretty similar goals in mind, which is going to be returning shareholder value, creating more profit for their business, and ultimately going down a race to the bottom on price. So all of those factors combined really lead to a lot of these big power tool manufacturers outsourcing a lot of their manufacturing overseas. So finding power tools that are made in the USA is incredibly tough, but it's not impossible. You're just going to have to settle for finding some tools that are assembled in the US with both domestic and globally sourced components. So let's cover some of these power tool brands. And I wanna start with some of the brands that are underneath these huge parent companies that really dominate the shelves at Home Depot and Lowe's and your other home improvement stores. And let's start off with Stanley Black & Decker. So this company has been around since the mid 1800s. It's evolved a ton over the course of their lifespan and has a lot of different brands underneath the Stanley Black & Decker umbrella. Obviously, Stanley, a popular tool brand, is underneath that parent company, Black & Decker as well, but they also own brands like DeWalt, Porter Cable, Craftsman, and many others. Now, of all those different sub-brands, DeWalt is probably going to be your best bet in terms of power tools that are assembled in the US with globally sourced components. They have a bunch of options in that lineup, but it's important to note that not all DeWalt tools are assembled in the US. It's only specific ones. So you wanna look for that label that says made in the USA with global materials. It should be really visible on any tools that you're looking at, and you can look at some different retailers online to find the country of origin and really filter down to the stuff that DeWalt makes that is assembled in the US. And speaking of those retailers, that's actually one of the most frustrating things with these DeWalt power tools that are assembled in the USA is their main landing page on their website that promotes all of these assembled in the USA tools is totally incomplete. There's only like a few tools on that page. It's not an exhaustive list of all of the tools that are assembled in the US on uh, that's their site. So it's just really, tough to actually find a full lineup. So you actually have to go to some third party sites that thankfully have the country of origin and allow you to filter through a lot of those different tools to find the stuff that's made in the US. So I'll link to one in the description below. Toolup is a decent one for finding all of these DeWalt power tools that are assembled in the US. Craftsman is obviously the other really big brand that's underneath the Stanley Black & Decker umbrella, arguably the most recognizable, and they really don't have any power tools that are made in the US. They have a few larger items like air compressors and things like that that are assembled in the US with global components. When you look at the power tools lineup, it's pretty empty. 
Now they have some hand tools that are made here and a few power tool accessories for things like blades and sandpaper and things like that that you can put on an orbital sander. Um, but in terms of the actual power tools themselves, it's pretty slim pickings. And then for their other brands like Black & Decker or Porter Cable, it's pretty much non-existent in terms of American made stuff. I know I said I wanted to dive into some of those other parent companies, but before I do that, I wanna call out two specific power tool manufacturers that are a little bit on the smaller scale, but are doing some great stuff assembling and manufacturing a lot of their stuff in the US. The first of those is Sue Tools. They're based in Murphy, North Carolina, and they've been around since 1914. But they have some really good basic drills, grinders, and a few other options. So definitely check out their online store for their full inventory of power tools. But I was really excited to come across them. I think they're a good option for some of your everyday stuff in your toolbox. And then Original Saw Company is another one. They're based out of Britt, Iowa. They're the only beam saw and radial saw arm manufacturer that I could find that's made in the US. All right, let's cover some of these other big brands. Next up, I wanna talk a little bit about Makita. Now, obviously Makita is not an American owned or born company. They're based out of Japan, but they do have some stuff that is assembled in the US. Now, much to my frustration, just like DeWalt, Makita does not do a good job of putting the country of origin on any of their product pages, even for the stuff that is assembled in the US. So you have to go to some third-party retailers who list the country of origin in the product specs to be able to find those tools that are assembled in the US. And one that I really like is Acme Tools. So if you go to their website, they have the technical specs on each of the different product pages and call out the country of origin for every single tool that's in their e-commerce store. And Makita has almost 700 listings on Acme Tools. So I did an analysis of, I think it was all 699 listings and found 24 Makita ones that are assembled in the US. So I'll put a link to that page on Acme Tools in the description below, but they have everything from circular saws to some drills and a few other items that should be good kind of everyday stuff to have in your tool chest. And like I said, obviously it's a Japanese company, but we're working with what we got here and some of their stuff is assembled in the US using great American workers. All right, let's talk about Milwaukee. So I've done a bunch of research on these guys previously. They've been around since 1924, but unfortunately pretty much all of their stuff is not made in the US and they're not even US owned anymore. They're owned by a company called Tektronic Industries, which is based out of Hong Kong in China. Tektronic Industries also owns a bunch of other brands like Ryobi, but in terms of American born or what people think as American made tools, Milwaukee is definitely the biggest brand in their portfolio. They have a few power tool accessories like blades and things like that that are assembled in the US, but pretty much their entire power tool inventory is not made here. A few other American brands to cover. First is Cobalt. They're actually owned by Lowe's. So I've done some videos and research on Cobalt as well as pretty much all of the other tool brands that I mentioned in this video. I'll put links to all that stuff in the description below. But going back to Cobalt, like I said, they're under Lowe's and pretty much all of their manufacturing happens overseas in countries like China and others. Rigid is another one. They got started in 1923, headquartered in Ohio, and pretty much everything is imported. It looks like they have a few specialty items like power drives and threading machines and things like that that are assembled in the US, but when it comes to your everyday essentials, again, pretty much all of it is manufactured elsewhere. And then a few foreign manufacturers that are not made here. I already mentioned Ryobi. They are owned by Tektronic Industries and are a Japanese brand that's not made here. And same with Hitachi, and not owned by Tektronic Industries, but they're another Japanese brand and do all of their manufacturing outside of the US. And then a couple of German brands, Bosch, uh, they're German based. They actually do some of their manufacturing in Germany, but obviously not in the US. And then Metabo is another German brand that does not manufacture here as well. So like I said, slim pickings when it comes to power tools that are at least assembled in the US. Now we have a ton of research on allamerican.org on tools that are at least assembled in the US using global components and some that are 100% made in the US. So I'll put links to all of that research in the description below. And like I said, use those third-party retailers too when you're shopping online that have the country of origin in the product specs. So I mentioned Acme Tools, 
Tulip, MSC Direct is another good one that has the country of origin in their product detail pages. And I'll put links to a couple others again in the, in the description below. Y'all let me know in the comments below if you have any questions on power tools that are made in the USA. Obviously this is a tough category when you're shopping and researching, but there are lots of really good kind of smaller manufacturers and some options from some of the bigger brands that are at least assembled here using a great American workforce. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this type of stuff. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.